Hello everyone. Today's presentation is regarding the real estate industry and whether real estate agents are history. This is a market research proposal exploring the looming impact technology has on the real estate profession. Let's start with the agenda. First on the agenda is the age of home buyers. It's important that we identify the key demographics that we will be talking about in this market research proposal. Next, it will be the first steps taken during the home buying process, specifically how technology is being used in that process. We'll also address the challenges ahead in the real estate industry as they relate to technology. And then we will dive into the market research proposal timeline which will identify the steps taken to deliver the MRP. We'll present the budget, the client knows, the associated costs, and then finally, we will open it up for questions. The age of the home buyers is important so that we know who will be buying homes in the next couple years. They are broken down in the following categories. Millennials, older millennials, generation X, younger boomers, older boomers, and the silent generation. Of particular interest for our market research proposal is the younger and older millennials. The reason is that these individuals will be buying the homes in the next coming years. So how are these age groups using technology to buy a home? Here we see that 40% of all buyers looked online for properties for sale, while 17% contacted a real estate agent, and 11% looked online for information about the home buying process. Less than 10% of all buyers contacted a bank or mortgage lender or talked with a friend or drove by the home by themselves. More importantly, when we look at generational data, we find that 47% of Gen Xers looked for online properties for sale. This is the challenge that the real estate agent faces today that the upcoming home buyers are going online and using technology to buy a home instead of a real estate agent. Furthermore, when we talk to the real estate firms, they acknowledge the challenging road ahead. With 46% of all firms cited keeping up with technology, as one of the biggest challenges facing their firm in the next two years. For commercial firms, this decreases to 44%, and 40% of firms with three offices cite keeping up with technology as a challenge. Bottom line, the industry knows this is coming. The market research proposal timeline, designed to collect data and to assess the impact of these changes ahead is as follows. Starting January 1st, 2021, we'll design the research, which includes the interviews and surveys. That will take two weeks, followed by a design of the data collection forms, designing them in software such as SurveyMonkey and MailChimp. That will take two weeks. We'll have that complete after the first month. We'll then move on to identifying the sample. The sample will include home buyers in the next one to five years. This will start in February 2021. In February, we'll also start the data collection process. Once we have that data collected, we'll, in March of 2021, we'll review all of the data and analyze all the responses so that we can write the research report 
in April. In April, we'll perform an iterative process and finally present an MRP. The MRP will have arrived after three drafts are done, have been reviewed and completed. Once we present the MRP, we will receive feedback and incorporate that feedback before we finalize and complete the MRP, which will take place in June. The entire MRP will incur these fees. Personal expenses, which contain travel, meals, hotel, or any lodging, $1,000 estimated, sampling, staff conducting surveys, etc., $5,000, data collection, 80 hours, $3,000, data analysis, with our team, it's $900. Software fees, estimated at $700. Narrative report production, estimated 20 hours, $1,200. And other miscellaneous fees of $1,000 for a total cost of the MRP of $12,800. This will allow the client to have a clear assessment of what's to come to allow them to prepare for the changes in the future and adjust their profession accordingly. Now, I'll open it up for any questions. If you don't have any today, feel free to contact me. I'll be gladly addressing those. Thank you.